Hi there my lovelies, this is Jana here. Welcome to my channel, another zucchini recipe because I am a sucker for zucchini. It's summer, it's easy, it's cheap, it's versatile. There is a long list of reasons why, but the main reason is because we can do that. So uh, this one is comforting and it's uh, at the same time light. It's a ham and cheese <laughs> stuffed zucchini. So let me show you how I put it together. First, we're going to grate the zucchini, add salt to it, mix, cover, and let it sit because the salt will draw the water from the zucchini, and we need all this water out. We're also going to need one potato, one large potato, grated, salt and pepper, some drops of lemon, and here I'm using garbanzo flour, chickpea flour, because uh, it's more nutritious. You'll be adding a little, a little extra protein to it, extra taste, I love the taste, but you can use any flour of your choice, I mean any flour of your choice, okay? A little bit of unsweetened plant-based milk. Always unsweetened, okay? We don't want um, dates or vanilla flavored zucchini ham and cheese pie. No way, no sir, at all, okay? So get your hands on what, it doesn't matter which one, okay? As long as it's unsweetened. Baking powder. And now we're going to get a baking dish. You're going to grease it all over sides as well. And we're going to add breadcrumbs to the sides and the bottom. Because the breadcrumbs will absorb any residual water from the zucchini. Remember, the zucchini is raw. We squeeze the water, okay? But uh, there's always a little bit water left and we don't want to sink the recipe. And now we're going to add half of these uh, zucchini batter, if you can say, to the bottom of the baking dish. And then add the vegan ham or vegan salami. In this case, I'm using vegan salami because it's, uh, the color is nicer. And grate any, any type of hard vegan cheese, grated or sliced, but I prefer grated. Speaking of uh, grated uh, cheese vers versus a uh, block versus sliced, when you go to the supermarket, you can usually, you have, if you're lucky, you have those three options, grated, sliced, or in the block. The best way to buy a vegan cheese or any other cheese for that matter is if uh, it comes in a block because all the moisture is trapped inside. If you slice it, you lose a little bit of the moist, okay, and the cheese tends to get a little bit more drier, okay? And uh, if, if it comes grated, like we see the Violife ones, it's easy because it's grated, but uh, it's much, much, much drier. And then sometimes you, you do the test. If you grate your block, of your block of cheese, it will melt better as opposed to the already um, grated one that you buy in a bag, okay? So this is something I have realized through the years. <laughs> and I was crying, complaining over the dish because it didn't melt. So, okay, or, of course, you can make one of my cheeses, a recipe over here. Uh, one of the hard cheeses, so up to you, whatever you choose. Now you add the second layer of the zucchini. Put some dollops evenly on the top so it's easier to spread. And then you cover it with some more breadcrumbs and olive oil. I have here. 
<laughs> Perfection, I love it. Kids love it. And I always say that on my recipes here on the channel because I, I, I worry about the kids because some kids, most of them, can be picky and I want to make them... Um, I'm salivating. <laughs> I want to make dishes and recipes that are inclusive so everybody can eat together. You don't need to make a separate dish for the kids because they, they didn't like this, they didn't like that. So you take the ugly and unpleasant vegetables and you turn them into beautiful dishes, beautiful recipes. They will come. If you build it, they will come, remember? That's exactly that and that's why I always think about that when I make a recipe. I want, it, I want the recipe for the whole family or the whole church <laughs> because Every time I make a food, I make it so much that I say that I'm cooking for the whole church. So this is it for today. I hope you have loved it. Try it. I know it's an oven recipe and it's summer here, hence why I'm sweating. <laughs> but give it a try. Save this recipe for later. Okay? And uh, full recipe on my website over here. Follow me on my social media also over here. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I make a video. Okay, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.